the topic of leadership in uncertain times is one that's really important and timely right now because things have really changed in the industry over the past decade. Not only are things changing within the industry, but the profitability of the industry and just sort of the whole economics around the industry is changing. So there are a number of different things that are coming together to create a lot of uncertainty. We have the opportunity to really take a wide diversity of people and really train them and, and give them the skills and the education necessary so that they can really produce for our industry. We're going to see anywhere from about 60 to 75 percent of the industry change over. We have to have new ways of doing business, new ways of leading our, our businesses. How can we start framing up these issues? How can we discuss them? How can we tackle them? And how can we lead our industry through this transition time and through this time of really evolving towards another way of doing business so that we can be successful in the long term and so that we can maintain our social license to mine. So we've got a big task ahead of us and we're going to have to be very open and we're going to have to be very inclusive with the people that we reach out to in order to make that big change in the industry. Well certainly through us, I mean we have a number of different programs that are addressing ways to draw young people into the industry and to help educate them about the industry and to teach them more about the, the culture of the industry itself. As an industry, I think we really seek to develop partnerships that are very broad. It's not just private sector, we talk with um, NGOs and we partner with the NGOs and other stakeholders in the industry so that we can all come together to solve the problems that individual companies or individual NGOs or individual groups can't solve. February of 2014 culminates my 10th anniversary with the Society and for the last 10 years I've truly gotten excited about going to work every day working with our members because our members challenge us, our members ask for important services and our members are um, talented people that myself and our staff get to work with. And I'm also very proud of the staff that's worked with us for the last 10 years because they've come to work every day and improved our products and improved our services to members so that at the end of the day, we can have smarter, more knowledgeable and innovative mining engineers and geologists and mineral processing engineers out there working in our industry.